give you time to uh, to join. There's one good thing about this site. It's taken a bit to get here. Very muddy, extremely muddy. Boots are trashed. But there's a bench. <laughs> Soggy, it's it's a, bit... a little bit wet, you could do a little bit of a wet bum, but it's I have a bench tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> and there's not there's not an awful lot to it where we are. Everything is behind the fence. Um so I shall take uh well, throw you over to Rob, not literally, but and uh and get him to what's it hi Diane hi everyone so Rob I'm gonna blind you now as you know Good evening. let me turn the let me turn the light down yeah, a little bit. Turn down a bit there we go hi Ian <laughs> there we go that's as low as it goes <laughs> sorry <laughs> you're blinded blinded by the light Sorry. Anyway, would you like to tell the, our lovely can, viewers? Can I just stop there? Have you been drinking, Joe? No, it's all the, um, it's, the um, it's all the cow manure, poop that I've had to like feet. walk through oh. to get here. <laughs> Diane says hi. Oh, got a wet bum. Really have. Anyway, oops. Now I'm trying. I'm trying to drop my power pack on the floor. Oh, that's better. She can't be cutting off from power loss, can we? So Rob, over to you. Good evening. Um, yeah, we've been on this site um, about the, this is about the third time now. Um, Hang on, Barry, in a second. It's not raining here, Ian, but it is very cold. Yeah, it's, it is. We're wrap, we are properly wrapped up tonight. Go on there, sorry. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, we've, we've done this, this must be about the third time we've been here. We haven't had a lot, um, but on the first, it was really intriguing. On the first time we came, um, from out of nowhere, it was like we, I've we, just tweaked why Ian says it's raining, right? Because I was singing, ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, got it. Right. Anyway, um, sorry, Rob. Yeah. So um, we we've done it a few times. Well, a couple of times before. About a third time now, um, and we haven't had an awful lot. Uh, it is supposed to be haunted. Um, people have heard moans disembodied voices also massive uh, feeling of sorrow has been felt here so we, we thought we'd come back again um we have smelt yes yes the smell haven't we yeah um it was not like, the cow um, manure <clears throat> it was like a, a a perfume sort of smell and it basically it just it, it just i don't know last last for about 15 seconds mm. uh, and that was on our first visit so we thought we'd give it another go because we hadn't, we hadn't. It's been a while since we uh, we were here, so. But, uh, well, November is about the. Yeah. I mean, I know we're a little bit over, but November's about the anniversary of it, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So, I'll, I'll put my light on and then I'll go through a few facts. Yeah. Basically, if you pan over there, Joe, you can't see a lot because it's all Imagine. overgrown. But if hang on, let there, me just turn me, do, me, let me turn my light up a bit. You see, there's a there's a fence there, um, and there's obviously a sign over here. Which hang on, Rob, you're not going to be able to read unless I come over. Now this will give you a little bit of a clue. Obviously, what's it there? So we don't go the other side of that fence. Plus, as well, there is a, a sheer drop. Um, it really, it really is quite yeah. a quite a, a nasty drop. So, in fact, it, it is still owned by the MOD. So, basically, it's not such a good idea to go in there at all. Are you, Steve? Um, but basically, yeah. On, oh, on, thanks, Diane. <laughs> on the morning of Monday, the twenty seventh uh, of November, I've got the year down here, but I think it was 19, 1943. I could be wrong because I haven't got the date down, the the, the year down. So it's just going to clarify this. Go on. Uh, it's eleven eleven. There was a massive explosion over there. Um, it was during the war. Uh, 1944. Used... 1944 was a year out. Okay, <coughs> thank you. Um, it was being used as an ammunition dump. It was an old gypsum mine, uh, and basically, some of the... although you're not allowed to go in there, some of the tunnels do actually still exist. But 
Um, it's supposed to be one of the largest nuclear explosions in history. And at that time, around 4,000 tonnes of earth uh, was thrown up into the air. Apparently two great big columns uh, of flames went, went shooting straight up with a cloud um, above like it. a mushroom cloud. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the actual uh, crater measures 100 foot deep. Uh, and it's 250 yards across. Hi, Lorraine. Um, I don't really know why it went up. There's there's a lot of theories at the time of sabotage by the Germans w w was not ruled out. Um, but in 1974, um, basically they they come to the conclusion it was a site worker um, removing a detonator using the brass chisel, resulting in sparks rather than using a wooden baton. Uh, my phone needs to turn off. Yeah. Um, what went up? Well, you got four, four, hang on, four thousand tons of earth plus up to five hundred million round, uh, rounds of small, sorry, small arms, um, and seven and a half thousand uh, tons of bombs went up. So a massive explosion. Although only twelve, twelve, uh, sorry, twenty-six people were killed. Um, at, some of those were Ital Italian prisoners of war, but ba basically they were being uh, used to um, <laughs> handle carry. the bombs, move them around, that sort of thing. But it was short staff. Yeah, I'm hence, glad you're not working either. Okay. Hence, How many houses were in that way? So again. Um, right the way over. But... Sound like laughing over there. There are houses, but it's like, it must be about two fields away, so it's a fair distance. Um... 26, uh, 26 uh, people were killed and two, 200 cattle died as a result, either during the explosion or basically some of the, some of the cows survived, although Very shortly morning, after yeah. the following morning they were, they were found dead. Um, Hi so, Al! So that's it. Um, well yes, it is supposed to be haunted and that's why we're here again. Although we, we never, we never sort of... Uh, we never claim to be guaranteed any sort of activity at all. So, you never know. Darren says hello to us all. So. Hi. Hi. So, yeah, that's it. So, basically, just panning round. They've got... Sorry, sir. Yeah. There's a little memorial there. Um, and a sign sort of saying what it is. But, yeah, it's... That's just... That's the way we've come in. And basically, the sites, the actual, uh... <laughs> Ian says, mm, burgers. <laughs> yeah, I don't think McDonald's was quite up and running then in 1944. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they had a few roast dinners. Sorry, that was a bit in poor taste, but hey. Um, so the massive, massive site is, is behind there. Um, Unfortunately, what, yeah, what I'm going to do, let's just walk down here a little bit, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Let's just walk down here a little bit. I don't think you'll see, because the trees are obviously over the years have grown up. Can you see down there? I don't think, you'll Let's never, you'll never trees. get the full... The right, trees, you can see the, probably see the very tops of the trees, see, that's sort of dipping right down, I don't know, let me just go down a little bit further, oops, try not to, oh, I'm disturbing all the birds, sorry, all gone up to roost and I'm sending them off to fly, poor little things, yeah, it's just another gateway, so it is, it's all, all in there, I mean, that just basically, Gradually drops down. Hi, Teresa. Um, so there's no. I mean, the people have tried, um, but it's not. It's not particularly advisable. Well, it's definitely not advisable to go in there because it says there's unexploded bombs. Um, so we shall stay this side. Where's Rob gone? Oh, he's behind me. <laughs> But we lost him then. So we stay. No, I don't know whether it actually says. 
We've got cat balls. Got to watch out for those. Watch your cat balls. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, I don't know whether you'll be able to see this. It might actually just reflect a bit too much. Hi, Rich. Let me turn it down a bit. Let me turn that down a bit. I don't know whether you'll see. It's reflecting a bit too much. Well, you turn yours off. Um, hang on. Right, we're just gonna let me just turn that off for a second. No. no, no, unfortunately, you can't. Yeah, you can. Uh, too much of a picking up on the name Robert. Well, there's various. I'll try and take um, a picture of it later. It's just initials, isn't it? It's just initials. There's no, there is an R Cartwright, so. Whether he's a Robert or a Richard. That's the O and an R Wagstaff. So those are the only two R's that are on there. Hey Gav. Hi Peter. Oh, Peter, you've changed your profile picture. Um see how observant I am. Right, so we will proceed and see what we can find out so as usual if you feel anything see anything shout up i'll read your comments out and uh, let's see where we go okay rob good evening spirits um i'm inviting you to come forward Teresa says she picked up on robert when we were walking down to that area all right okay could very well be um I'm inviting Let's you hold to that come forward. forward, step forward and speak to us. We don't mean any harm or disrespect. All we wish to do is communicate with yourselves. I'd like to introduce us to you. My name is Rob. I'm Sarah. I'm Joe. Now you know who we are. But we'd like to know who you are. So please come forward and attempt to communicate with us. We are inviting any spirits to do this. We've got one or two little things that lit up, little boxes, they're totally harmless. They're not dangerous at all. That's great, thanks Teresa. So she's picking up the surname Wilson. We're not sure yet if it's Robert's surname, but she'll let us know. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, um, What's the point? What did just I do? one or two little devices on the floor, absolutely harmless. If you'd like to touch them, they may light, uh, they may light up. So let us know that you're here with us now. As I said before, we don't mean any harm or disrespect. So Sarah's got a necrophonic running sure, over there. Come on spirits, any spirits, preferably those that are to do with this site. We have full respect look out and sympathy I thought I had shut up. I thought I had say look out. for the fact that you died in this terrible way. Oh, Tracy says Robert is showing... Uh, that he, this Robert um, he's stood by the left by the trees he's peeping at us he's got his left left boot like <laughs> get me teeth in left boot lace undone um, Robert if you can hear my voice first of all would you which mind? sound rich is it necrophonic can you hear echoing in the back yeah if you can hear my voice Robert would you like to tie your shoelace up oh. yeah. And step forward and come and talk to us. Don't mean any harm or disrespect. That's our breath, by the way. It's like yeah, it's so quite, cold. It's quite cold. <laughs> yeah, it's got like a reverb on it, Rich. I can't turn that off. 
Uh, Gav says, how do we like Necrophonic? Not used it a huge amount. We've had, had odd words. No, I haven't used it for a while, but um, me personally, I prefer, um, what's it, Spirit Talker. Teresa says, it, Robert's also saying the month of March. Robert, come forward. Come to us. Young. I oh, also like Paratech as well, Gav. That's a good one. Come forward and speak to us. What the? Oh, it's cold, but I've got goosebumps. Come and touch one of these little boxes. Just to indicate that you're with us. If I kick, if I kick this little flashing ball, which isn't going to go off, have you actually turned it on, Rob? <laughs> it's okay. You can see that ball flashing. That's all it does. There's another one on the table you can touch that's not quite so near to us. If you'd like to step forward to that. It's probably the least, my least favourite, yeah. We've had some good, we've had some good, good interaction, haven't we, through Spirit Talker. Although it does get a little bit repetitive, so. Yeah. I bet you can't get that to stay on that table now. <laughs> Hi, Jay. <laughs> it took some doing. <laughs> Sarah's so, challenge. There you go. Come on, any spirits that are here that are associated with the site, can you come and talk to us through this device that Rob's holding? Can you step forward and show yourself? Can you make a sound? bugs getting attracted to the light. Can you walk up to one of the green ones that are on the floor? That's interesting. Tracy says Robert's 24 years old, got ginger hair around 5 foot 11 and he's showing an injury to his right hip. Could have been a, um, a local. Absolutely, yeah. Could have been a local that got caught obviously, up with it, yeah. Obviously it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be directly connected, I don't think, because... They're mainly Italian, weren't they? Yeah. But yeah, a local that got caught up with it. Certainly. Rob, it could be, it could be somebody that's died in the area. True. It's true. It doesn't have to be connected. Rob, if you if you can hear my voice, would you mind coming forward, please? Come speak to us. I'm trying to work it out. It does look. Diane's getting the name Roberto. <laughs> That's what I call Rob. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Roberto's Italian. Italian. Come on, step forward. Now, it was interesting then, I don't know whether anybody saw, but in the, in the hollow where we've walked through as i panned there was just like a small light that was probably about mid distance up i'll have to have a look at that again tracy says he stood near, at the tree near the sign yes, right. to the left it was yeah so he's in he's in those trees Ian says he's spe smelling spaghetti. Well, that's, that's significant. <laughs> Meatballs or bolognese, Ian? Now I'm getting hungry. I'm thinking lasagna. Oh, I fancy spaghetti bolognese, actually. Do you know, I nearly I cooked that tonight, bowl, actually. Spaghetti bolognese. I must have known we were coming here. Oh, actually. Look, there's the lovely Sarah. Hi. I can't see anyone because I'm blind, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> Come on, spirits. Please don't be scared. 
could definitely trace a yet a Roberto or Robert, yeah. Step forward out of that terrible sight. Is that grass? What? I thought it said look towards me. That sounded eerie. So that was Bjork. So if I ever grab my phone as well, I'll stick Spirit Talker on quiet at the same time. And we'll see if we get any, any corresponding words. Just see, I'll see if it... Um... Oh, that phone's gone. <laughs> I'll keep it on quiet. What? I don't know. Ian. Uh, Ian? Yes, please, Tracy, Ian. that'd be great. I've heard it say Ian twice, and I'm sure it said Josie as well. Hey, you're being in Josie, it's picking I, up I on you. Know, I don't know about Josie, I've heard, I've heard Ian now. Okay. Okay. Are you yeah. Have we got an Ian here? Trace has got a screenshot where he's stood. So she's going to send it through to us. Okay, thank you very That's much. That's great, thanks. Yeah, if anybody takes any screenshots, if you see anything, just, just snap away and, yeah. Pop them through to us, that'd be great. Diane says she said, did she just hear, help me? I must admit, I, I didn't, but I, I wasn't listening, so. Was that kill me? Kill me? You. Go on. You. You kept. You kept. Hey. Hey. That sounded like a young child, didn't yeah. it? She. Did I didn't hear Robert. Come on, step forward. Come and speak to Hi, me. Hi, Steve. We're good, thanks. Hope you are too. Nice. I think we should call you Earth Mother. Mommy Earth. Uh, it's not burning. It's not, I don't, it's not I don't know what it is. Can you can you come forward and show it? Oh no, it says here seat and I'm family. Are you connected That's to brilliant. one Thanks, of us? Sir. Are you connected to one of us? If you are, no. Well, was that a no? That was a no. Nope. Okay. Listen again. <laughs> Steve Lloyd says hi, Robin Sarah. Hi. I'm drawn over there. Did that flash then over there? What? <laughs> Sue says we need to call it Earth Angel Mom. <laughs> that... I'll tell you what, do you want to stand the other side and pan that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. They like sending me off on my own. Good job. I'm just going to pan this way. There's the bench. Let's just wander around here, give you a bit of a, a different, a different view. Oops, come on. Come on, come forward and speak to us. We don't mean you any harm. I will, Diane. Don't worry. Those are birds that you can hear. Unfortunately, we're upsetting them.
Um, what's uh, we've got WhatsApp or the um, messenger? It's probably best to send it, Teresa, if you don't mind. It's getting a bit foggy. Yeah, I feel. I feel. What was that? I've got goosebumps. Yeah. I've got. I've now got. Seat. I'm family. Burial. The woods. After and fearful. The woods is significant. Oh, if me and Rob go and sit on the bench. It's a bit wet. You've done that deliberately. Got me up <laughs> off the bench <laughs> so that you two can go and sit on it. Mm -hmm. That's brilliant, thanks Teresa. What about, what about the tail tipping? Yeah. yeah. Can you hold that? Please, or oh, your, your hands. Oh. I'll leave that running in my pocket. Like right. You see, I'm, I'm having to be mindful of the fact I'm trying to keep away from equipment. Cause gel, I, have my, I have my amethyst and I have my obsidian and... What else have I got? Jet, I think. Just try not to trip over the. We've invited any spirits that are with us to come forward and attempt to manipulate this table. You can rock it, shake it, do whatever you want with it. Use our energy and manipulate this table. You can make the ball roll off the table if you wish. Well, there's not many of us, but we have got a lot of energy for you. We're both inviting you to use our energy. Bear with me a second. Look, there's proof of how muddy it was. <laughs> Mine are even worse. So I'm like Rob's cleaning them for me. <laughs> okay, thanks Sue. She says we haven't got it. We've got a, a not so happy spirit with us. Okay. That's why she asked if we've got the crystal. So, come on. If you want us to leave, we will. But you need to give us some evidence that you're here. Is that the wind making the ball rock? Don't know. Oh, I've got chills, I tell you. Come on, come forward. If you want us to leave, you need to do something to show us that you are here. Not leaving yet. Well, Come on, Spirit, use our energy. Come on. We'd love to interact with you. We don't mean any harm or disrespect. There's several ways in which you can you can um, communicate with us. That's interesting. Now, Teresa, Diane, and Sue have all picked up on Robert. Well. Diane got Roberto, which could be Robert Roberto. If your name is Rob Robert or Roberto. Yeah, Ian, they are multiplying <laughs> the chills. <laughs> it's flipping freezing out here. Come on. Don't mean any harm or disrespect. That's brilliant. Thanks, Teresa. But we are asking you to move this table. If you can get it onto two legs. Push it, shake it. Hiya, Danny. I just spotted your profile picture. <laughs> Go on, spirit. Tap the ball on the table. Or walk up to the on. red light next to Rob. I've made the ball flash, but I'll stick my finger on. Don't sit on the uh, rem pod. <laughs> Sue's get, also getting a Sam or a Samuel now. I think we've had that one before, oh, yeah, that name. On. 
Okay, we'll do it in a moment. Yep. Teresa says maybe move the table towards that tree, which we'll do in a minute. It's time to go. Come on. My fingertips feel like they're sparking. Does that make sense? Mm. Come on, push, push the table over. No, let me swap hands. Yeah. Two legs. Two legs. If we don't get anything here, then we'll go over yeah. by that tree. Yeah, it, it does. It, it feels like... Come on. It just feels like, yeah, like a little, push. little electric... Push it. She's going. Push the table. That sounds like said Richard. Though. Come on. Can you rock it backwards and forwards? Go on. I feel like I'm swaying. I'll stay down here too. If you affect, if you affect in Sarah, rather than affect Sarah, affect the table. Come on. There's a device on the table that you can talk into, or talk through, or use. You can say hello. You can push it. If you push it, you can knock it over. Jesus, this, yeah, Teresa says that's the energy. Gav's heard a child crying. Now that's funny actually because we, we said one of the, it sounded like a mm. child was crying. So he's getting the name Theo as well. Theo, who else have we had? Ian, Roberto, Robert, Sam, Sam, Sam. Samuel. If you can hear my voice, if you can see us, if you can see this table, use our energy. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Try to give it a break. We'll come back to that. Let's pop it over by the sit on the bench. Or it's a bit flatter over there, isn't it? Teresa says she's also giving the name of uh, getting the name uh, sound of airplanes. I'll get my teeth in me. We're going to just go on the bench because it sort of cripples us standing. But let's just see. Hello. You all right standing? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Right, okay. Oh, dirty, dirty bench. Get him. Get him bum again. There you are. Then, because I, I find it hard. Bum is, it's on it. It's yeah, not. well, put it forward a bit. That's it, where it's level. No, that's not. No, if you move okay, that way a bit, and put that there. That's it. I'm finding it hard to... Oh, it's a hole. To, that's it. Bert. That's it. Sue's getting Steve or Stephen. The only problem is I can't see the legs here. Steve, Stephen, Roberto, Ian, Sam. Any of you? You with us? If you can hear my voice, use our energy. That's so very cold mm. then. I was thinking it is actually colder over it than it is up there. Hang on. Oh, I thought I heard a shout. That's interesting. So he's getting Morgan as well. Now that could be a surname, maybe. I'll have a look on the on the. I did think I heard, I heard a shout. Spirit, if you just shouted, can you do that again for me, please? See, it could be somebody, you know, it could actually be somebody. But I do think I heard a shout. Lovely cobweb across if the you just, screen. If you just shouted, that was you. Thank you very much.
But would you be able to do it again? Just to clarify. Worth a try. Mm. But I, I thought, oh yeah, I don't know what they said. Oh. We'll go over there in a minute with the table, though. You've got a headache. Mm. We'll go over there with the table in a moment. I don't know whether yeah. it's just because it's. We will, thanks, Steve. I've gone cold again. Gone cold. Teresa's also picking up a female named Marcia. Marcia. No, we've had a female voice. That was male. That that was just. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> now say hail, fearful the attic hail. Sue so says the name she's getting are from people uh, the, the person's buried Buried around, you know, yeah, this place yeah. Unmarked graves, which would be oh, yeah, unmarked, unmarked you graves Is your phone? What's that? That said Robert you know, It was a woman's voice went Robert Oh, it's that. What? Talk. Now just had happened here. Okay. Okay. The only thing we know that happened here was a a terrible, terrible explosion. Were you part of that? Were you, were you caught up as part of that? Marcia's 16 years old, long dark hair. Marcia? Well, in fact, anybody else is with us, please come forward. Come speak to us. That sounded like he said out now. Go on, bring that, bring that table. Let's go, let's, let's go over here. I'm, I'm, I must admit, I'm getting drawn. Well. Watch the, watch the K2 and the cat ball. Okay. If we put it here, you slightly... Hold on. Stop. Yeah, it said stop. Okay. I don't know whether they can... Well, hopefully, Robert or Roberta. Further left. Okay, so a bit further that way. This way. A bit further towards. Let me let me just come back. So about about there. Do you want it a bit further back? There. Hang on, I'm just waiting for a response. Yep, yeah, there. It's cold over here. It's cold over here. Okay, guys, let's use everything we've got. Sue's getting in Edward. <coughs> Calling any spirits that are with us at the moment here at the site. We don't mean you any harm or disrespect. But we are asking if you can help us to move this table by using our energy and manipulating it in any way you can. In any way you can. What's creaking? Table. Stop that in a minute. If you can hear my voice, use our energy to rock the table. We don't mean any harm or disrespect. Robert, Roberto, are you here? That's my stomach. Lynn says she's got a sense of peace. People have come to terms with her passing. It certainly would have been very quick. For those that have died, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. I would, I would have thought so. Well... Instant. Yeah. Mm. 
Use energy. Yeah, Sue's getting cold chills now. Use our energy to move this table. Is it moving? I think so. I don't know. It's going towards Rob. Yeah. Can you push the table any way, any way you wish? Robert's also showing Teresa the sole of his boot is hanging off. He's not doing very well with his boots, is he? I'll borrow mine. Think... <laughs> okay, Gav's Emma is picking up on the name Tom. Tom? Is that over there then, behind you? Don't know. Marcia? I'll just keep, I'm just aware the table's creaking. Roberto, Robert, Sam? Theo, you with us? I'm going to get a very wet knee now, but but I'm going to do that. Ugh, soggy knees. Rather you than me. <laughs> Teresa says he's showing that he's being sick against the tree. If you're with us, if that's you that's being sick. Would you like to help us to move this table, please? Sue's so getting the name Jessica. Jessica, if you're with us. Any of the names that we've called forward? Are you able to come and move this table? Did you move that there? Probably. It was probably me. That was definitely Creaky me. knees. Hang on, I'm never going to get this to Can you knock that ball off the table by moving the table? Uh, sorry, yeah. By moving the table, can you knock that ball off for us? The trouble is with you kneeling like that, you're going to end up, you're going to use the table to balance yourself without realising. You see, I'm down on one knee. Actually, on the floor, oh, one neck. Come on, you won't mean to do it, but you'll naturally do it. Use our energy. We'd like to see this table on two legs if that's possible. You'd like to see that that ball flash. The only way it's going to flash is if you move this table. I just have to go like this, look. Come on, spirit. Come on, Robert. Or Roberto, whichever one your name is. Come and have a play with the table. We don't mean you any harm or disrespect. Mum, can you like that ball up like I've just done? Yeah, come forward and come and have a come and have a play. That's interesting. Hang on, I'm just gonna type me what's it off so I can read. Peter says he's been aware of a guy with an Alsatian dog who has been watching us for the last twenty minutes. He's in uniform and wearing a grey coat uh, with a white belt and white spats. So I take it that is a, a camp guard on duty. Yeah, that yeah, would that would make perfect sense. If you can get a name, Peter, that would be great. Sir, crap, he's gone dark over there. Sir, we've got no torch. Well, my torch has died. Yours has died, hasn't it? Look at this. We've got that. As long as that don't die. Hang on. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to get back to the car? With Rob no never. Like? Now the interesting thing is, Rob never likes. Um, I hope that was you. It wasn't yeah. me. I've just put the back. I've Rob never likes back. leaving here um, because he always That's feels like there. something. Did you hear is that? Uh, I heard something. Yeah. He feels like something's following or somewhere. Yeah. That was the I heard it off your boot. Have you given up on table tipping? Yeah, so we'll try some rods. Okay. Take them straight in the backs. We'll try, try a dozen rods. <laughs> I can't get up now. I've got to find the, got to find the case now. Where's it? On the bench. Your case is over there. We'll come back to the table, Lena. See if we can get them. 
get some life. I'm just curious now, what did we have? Wilson. Is there a Wilson on there? What's Surname. Surname. Let's have a look. Is there a Wilson? There's a West. No, there's no Wilson. I can't see the names very well. No, so we don't have a medium, but Ian, our medium, is watching. So he's obviously uh, protecting us from the to the other side. Uh, so, uh, sorry, Lynn says, study the table. The grain has changed. It's peaceful. Have a look back on that. My knee's cold now. Okay. Yes, you warm up. Impossible to play conductor. It was a very, very, very gentle breeze. Nothing enough to. So, again, to the spirits that are with us now, if you can hear my voice, if you can see us. Sarah is holding dowsing rods. You probably will have come across them before or, or know what they are, know how they work. We'd, if possible, we'd like to speak to you using, uh, using those rods. If you can mani manipulate them in any way you wish, can you give us an answer? Okay, we'll do. Or show us what you mean by yes. If we were to ask you a question... You wanted to answer yes. How would you manipulate those rods? Show us what yes is. Teresa asks Robert, uh, ask, says to ask Robert if the month of March is associated with him when we get some interaction, obviously. Okay. I'm going to ask anyway. And she reminds Robert, you of Kenny with a hood up. If you can. <laughs> no. If you Anybody can hear my South voice, Park? I'd like to ask is the month of March significant? Does the month of March mean anything to you? Robert, can you come forward? Come and talk to us. Come and use these rods. Hopefully they don't take too much of your energy. And we've got plenty of energy for you to use. All we want to do is just ask a few questions. Maybe you've got a story. Did you... What? That sounded like a rumble, like a, a very faint explosion rumble. Then, from you, literally from over. The but it could be. Was, road way off no, it wasn't road. road, but I mean, it could be a farm building that's over that way or something. Ian says, "Who killed Kenny?" <laughs> well, Sorry. It was... What was it the other day? We bobble hats on, I'd go on. He was taking the mick out of me. <laughs> We've got a happy team, we have. <laughs> if you can hear my voice, just manipulate them rods you in know, one direction. Just to you, look, you look at these rods, how they're showing on here, look. Right. I've got, I've got my glasses on. They're showing as if they're pointing out what, to the one, side. One second, one second, I can't see. Have mine. No, you're right. I've got them. And they're not actually. They're they're. Can you just because you've got writing? Look how it's showing on there, and they're not. That's incredible. They're, no, okay. I'm going to show. Just for the people watching uh, at home, they are. I'm going to show you. You can see they're not. They're not showing. Watch, be careful, so I think you've got, there's a K2 somewhere here. Yeah. You all right? You've got a bad arm. Do you want me to? Are you, do you want to Ian says don't lose your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, Ian, in your pocket. 
This time. No, actually, they're on your five. They were, they were, they were not last time. They're on your five, Rob. He has a bit of a thing about losing his glasses. So those, if I do it that way, yeah, they look as though they're sort of they're, they're sort of towing out, don't yeah, they? Yeah, and they're not. But they're not. They're actually dead straight. Dead straight. That's really weird. Maybe, maybe if you if you. Take the camera to the Rich side. the Rod has he's got a pooly back, Peter. He's um <laughs> that's a good name for him actually. Rich the Rod. He should be watching. I yeah. don't know whether he's vanished, but he was watching earlier. Um he's hurt his back so he he can't come out with us at the minute, unfortunately. I'm gonna ask any spirit that's with us now to cross the rods. Cross them. That's bizarre how that's I don't know, you... I feel like I'm being pulled backwards. Spirit, if you're with us, can you not manipulate Sarah? Instead, manipulate the rods for me, please. Can you make them cross? They're not. They're not actually pointing out. Is they're they are straightforward? Believe it or not. Did that flash down there then? Uh, don't forget, you you sort of you oh, it's might just... be the phone. Do you know, Lynn? It's very funny you say that because I was just about to to sort of say, and I sort of said it in my head. It feels very peaceful. Mm. Um. Well. Mm. Have those, have the rods a second, because I, I want to ask. You, see if you feel it there. I want to ask something. No, you're, you're right, Lynn, I, I, it feels quite, quite calm, to be quite honest. Now, okay, Spirit, if you're, a, if you're with us and you're able to manipulate the rods... Can you point them to where you're standing? Can you take them to the direction that you're standing? Okay. Any spirits that are with us, I'll just explain. We're only here just to talk to you. Now that's interesting because that's that's pointing towards you, sir. Now Sarah's to the right of me. Are you feeling anything, Rob? The feeling like batteries. You know what I mean? Like like a it's, spirit. Can it's you more the can right you one bring than the left one. can you bring the rods back to the centre for me? If you're unable to do it, then no, you're right, Teresa. That the now the interesting thing is that I've there's a very slight breeze which I can only feel on my right cheek. I can't feel it on the tip of my nose. Spirit, if you're standing to the right of me, are you able to cross the rods to confirm that for me? Please. You see that one? The left one went in lock solid. Spirit, can you, can you, if you're standing to the right of me, can you uh, cross the rods to to confirm that for me, please? Come on, use our energy. Use Rob's energy. Not too much of it because he's got to drive us home, but... There's a bit of... I can hear that rumble what you was on about, Joe. Yeah, it might... I think it's the road. It might be, yeah, it might be the road. Come on, use, use his energy. Thanks, sir. 
Can you cross the rod if you are standing to the right of me? Look, like it's trying to move, isn't it? Now that one's swinging, but the breeze isn't that direction. Thank you, Sue. Noticed all the wildlife sh shut up as well. Mm. All the birds have flown off. <laughs> Come on, a little bit further. A little bit further. What's it doing? It's nearly. Okay, Robert. Oh, spirit. I'm, I'm going to assume that that's Robert. So, Robert, can you open the rods back out again for me? I'll give you a couple of... I'll give you a short while to do that. Yes, if you I can't. Looks like you are. My, I feel like my hands are trembling. But the right one feels as though like I'm holding a battery. Can you reset because they might not be strong enough to do that as well I just feel like it's taking a lot of all right okay my, I'll tell you what my, my Robert go on my right my left arm it's like it's just trembling I can see it Robert can you stop swaying that one for me can you leave that one alone thank it, you does it, do they still look on the on the screen as though they're, they're open? No. Well, no. What's that over there? I'm going to put this rod down a minute. Might be a cow. What? What? Yeah, it is getting a bit foggy. If it gets too bad, we'll have to disappear because we've got to try and find our way back across the fields. Okay. Robert. Roberto. I can't speak Italian or anything. Are you dig? Ciao, Ciao Bella. That's the only bit I know in the spaghetti pizza. Those are any bits of pizza. What's it on her? <laughs> anyway. Um, Where's my mum when you need her? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I need them back. You're trembling really badly. I can't stop me, me left hand trembling. Roberto, if you're affecting Rob... And the rods. <laughs> Trace says she can't speak Italian either. And if anybody can speak Italian and, and do it, to, grazie. Yeah, that's another one, isn't it? Um, it's Ferrari Italian. Yeah. There you go. And if, grazie Ferrari. <laughs> Thank you, Ferrari. Anyway, um, I'm going to just try and stop let's just try Roberto can you tell me did you die here can you cross the rod if you died here Diane says Rob looks scared is something taking over him and Sue says her right hand and right wrist hurt. It's your right hand, isn't it? My left. Juan Cornetto! That's it, Juan Cornetto! <laughs> Give it to me! I don't think they'd know what Cornetto is, were they? Would they? I've got to stop singing, I'll be having it flipping raining again. Roberto! Oh, Robert, are you with us? 
if you are, can you just cross the rod just to let me know that you're still with me? Or with us, I should say. I know it takes a lot of energy and we appreciate it, but you can use ours. Oh, he likes the softly spoken. Come on, a little bit harder. That's it, a bit more definite. Sue says, are you cold, Rob? No. It, well, he is cold, yeah, but he's, he's one hand. Uh, I just can't stop it. Teresa said, oh, I've lost again. There's no bad energy, bad energy there, guys. No attachments taking the place. The spirits aren't negative. or have enough energy to take over your body. That's good. Lynn says, funny old word. We always assume spirits are angry souls, but these guys are peaceful and united. They're surrounding you with love. Oh, oh thank you, Roberto. Okay. Have you got the energy? If you've got the energy... I, to I know, take the I, I rods again, back out. I know it's cold, but I have got goosebumps. Have you got the energy to take the rods back out to the middle? So they're straight ahead of me. That's your starting point. Come on. Bring them back out so they're wide out. Come on, my energy is there for you to use. It's good energy. So you, if you want to manipulate these rods, it's there for you to use. I'm just going to put Spirit Talker back on again. Yeah, Sue says they're just curious. Right, concentrate. Mm, definitely doing that. Robert, are you able to bring the rods back out so they're Right out in front of me. Diane says she hears children crying. I know. I talk. Sue's got Anthony. Come on, this is your memorial. This is where we come to pay respect to you. Or you poor souls that lost your lives. That one's just not going to go back out again, is it? Yeah, your other one's absolutely rigid, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I'm just going to stop a minute. I just felt like doing that. I'm not even going to go into what he's doing that way. In case it, it absolutely just so, yeah. If it's stuck, I've had scared. Please don't be scared. You've got absolutely nothing to be scared of. What do you so mean? I, you know, I saw harm. a reflection. I wonder what it was. It's your glasses. <laughs> Can you take the rods in the direction that you are standing? Both of them, please. <laughs> so you said the spirit told you to do that. <laughs> do you know what? I could actually believe that. Wasn't it? No, we all Rob was feeling left out because you did it earlier. I was swinging him around in the house, the small ones, wasn't I? Yeah. No, I was just wondering What's whether. That huh? What was that then? I think it's a car. Was it? Yeah, with a noisy exhaust. I'm swapping over. See if that makes any difference. Well, that's interesting because it's the one in your left hand, right hand, that's coming in again. Diane says they want Rob to let them pass over. Hmm. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm coming back. I'm coming back to it, Teresa. Hang on. Lynn, say, Lynn says it's like a pub in heaven, they say. Where where are we gone, Teresa? Oops. Oh, yeah. Sorry, there we go. You're shaking because they're taking your energy so they have strength to use the rods. Sorry, I missed that one. It just... Um, don't talk. I can't understand why that one's one solid. Scared, knocking, castle. Castle's not significant, but and human. Sorry. Ian says they're, they've already passed, they're just visiting. Let's try some strain. Just a couple of more seconds. Last chance. If you can hear my voice, we'd like to show, or you to show that you're here. Tracer says they're happy souls here. And you can do that by crossing the rods. Just feel quite peaceful. So if you're here, can you cross the rods for me? Yeah, there was a cobweb. It doesn't feel... Any, calm, yeah. yeah, any oppression or anything here. Shows you here by crossing these rods. You are swaying, you know. I think that's because I'm standing. I, I, I'm not Although moving. You went, you went quite a way forward then. Come on. Let's just see. Why are you swaying? I am. Oh. Use my energy. Okay, Tracer, I went swaying. Shows you here by crossing these rods. You can't cross them. Move them in a different direction. <laughs> Gav says we need a medal or hot water bottles. Your chest hurts. It's quite, it hurts quite a lot of coffee, yeah. Standing here. Oh, that'd be good. Lynn says we'll feel that lovely energy when we go home. Where was your pain? I'm not crossing chest Okay. Yeah. Oop. We need some of those thermal self-heating gloves or whatever they are. need that body warmer I sent you, the USB heat chargeable one. Yeah, but I'll have that plugged into the uh, battery pack instead of my phone. Anyway, so while Rob just gets something else, what I'm going to do, this is... I don't know whether you can read it. That's a bit about it. There you go. That's what it's all about. And that's the memorial, obviously. I have got a picture somewhere. Uh, if I go back across my, uh, you know, through my gallery. Hold on. Right. You have to turn your, turn your torch on. Okay. Right, so off we go. Tommy, you've made some music talk. Male. Oops, I'm going Moustache. Maybe. 
پولیمی کرده بوده الیپس فیلین ای Is there? Oh, I hope so, Lynn. Says we'll feel that lovely energy in the car as we depart. Tell you what, we can have the heaters on. <laughs> Get his heated seats on. I, I can see a, I can see a male. Mustache. Teresa says she's sensing Marcia coming through. You can hear a car in the background. There's a slight mustache. Can you see how her top lip sort of filling up? What's that? It's, <laughs> I think it's a cow in the field. <laughs> Are you sure? It was coughing, yeah. Are the cows in there? Yeah. I think so. Well, it's just about debunked all the noises we've heard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peter says, I thought it might, might be the RAF. The guard was wearing Air Force blue uniform. I hope it was a cow. What, what, what colour was the Italian? Uh... <laughs> I think it was a very. <laughs> Tracy, I've got a... She says, oh, oh my gosh, she says she heard that. I think there's a cow the other side of the hedge. I think. Best day. It was Best something day coughing day anyway. Ian says it's a bull. I hope not. I might see how fast I can run in a minute. Do you feel anything? Nothing at all? No. <laughs> it says moussaka. That's, yeah, that's another word, isn't it? Is Masaka Greek? <laughs> yeah, no one has read on. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, so yeah. No, I've got, I've got orange. She's got orange, not not red. Alright, okay, right, investigator. That's sound. An one. Yeah. Come on, Spirit. You've got Sarah. Again, she's sitting down. She's inviting you forward. She's inviting you to use her energy and hopefully superimpose your image over her. Can hear the farm in the background, by the way. That's... That was me. <laughs> it says eyes. She was like, Ooh. Use your energy to superimpose your features over the top of Sarah's. Can you show us what you look like? You can see us. I hope. If you can see us, we'd like to see what you look like. That ain't nice. But it's cha she's changed. I don't know if you can see what I can see. I've got, can you help? I can't. Are you looking through the camera or through the... I'm just looking straight at her. All oh, right, I'm looking through the camera. Well, do you want me to hold the camera? You no, 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 it's all right. It's definitely changing. Face is widening out. Yeah. 
For one moment, it looked as though her eyes were open. The face is widening out. Ian says side of her face, the left-hand side of her face. Left her, that's the, this side. Yeah. Diane says her face has gone old-looking. It does look different. It does look different on, on the screen, is it? Than what she does on um, sitting yeah. in front of us. Gav said her eyes looked open, staring forward. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I've seen that a couple of times to be honest. I even saw like a. a I'm all gonna. I'm gonna say enlarged forehead. Come on, spirit. Come forward. You Sarah's energy. You alright, Sarah? Mm hmm Okay. And superimpose your features over the top of Sarah's so we can see what you look like. <laughs> can you help attack and prepare? Do you mean us harm? If you, if you do, then if you mean us to attack. Now her eyes were open then. I was say. I'm going to have to sit down for a second. Oh, right. let, me face, right. let me face huh? towards you. You're right. Bear with me. Oh. The time freeze on the sword in your head. Oh, that boy. That's a good boy. Let me, let me just move that. That's it. Oh, I'd so say she's full. Gav says eye on the right looks like it's gone, like it's missing. He it says it's like Phantom of the Opera. This side of my head hurts across here. It's like brain freeze. That's something on the road. Breaks. Thanks. If you can't do that, we've still got the little devices that are dotted around the floor. If you want to walk up to those. It's my stomach. It does actually feel really quiet to me. Yeah, Diane, so has, she has got a pain down her left-hand side of her head. So it's like brain freeze. Hi, Julie. She says she sent, Julie says she senses it was someone in a fire. Well, that would, that yeah, would yeah. be absolutely bang on, yeah. I mean, an explosion. Yeah, Tracy says it's gone very quiet, Rob. <laughs> Hi, Julie. See you tomorrow. <laughs> She's just right. blown in the face. <laughs> And Ian says, you know, Ian says, yeah, tell her don't go is it much longer as it's, yeah, it's affecting her, okay. Yeah, Diane, it was at the side of the head. Yeah, Gav says, the eye on the side that you said, it's hurting, it's drooping. Let me just stand up again. Move with me. You're right, it is. Yeah. Can you say that? Old man. Yeah, it is Tracy, yeah. Her face is like gone elongated, thinner.
Like I say, I just couple a little bit longer and that's it. And pull me out. That's most of it. You all right? Mm hmm Okay. That eye is proper, proper drooping, isn't it? How's, yeah. how's that side of your face feel now? Doesn't hurt as much as it was. Yeah, Diane says it looks like you've had a stroke on the left-hand side of your face. Okay, enough. Pull it out. Okay. All right. Time for it to come back to us. Yeah, Lynn says your nose was like a wolf. Did change. Oh, what we had through on Spirit Talk anymore? Um, by hers, I used to live here. Nanny, prison, and Gloria. I used to live here. Is interesting. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll give it to few more minutes because it is quiet um and i do i do feel that everything's quite peaceful let's have another look around any spirits that have been with us tonight or are still with us are you able to walk towards the little lights on the floor They won't hurt you. Hmm? Are you able to make a noise? We have got an aeroplane going over the top. Didn't see anything to be Well, I thought that flashed before. Yeah, but you were right next to it, that's not But I was right next to it, so. No, Teresa, no. She says there's someone in the team just whispered, no. that we definitely didn't whisper I'm just just panning round very very slowly that's interesting Ian heard the same whisper that Teresa did any idea what it said Going back to it being um, public knowledge on online, yeah, there's some some lovely walks around here actually. Um, I don't know how local people are, but it's worth a it's worth a little visit. Is it burning smell? Yeah. I can smell the burning. Yeah, burning. But it might be somebody's chimney. You don't know. Okay. No, it doesn't smell like wood burning. Plastic. Well, maybe. Teresa says she couldn't make out what it said. It was thought it was a female's voice. And she thought it was Sarah talking to Rob. No, I think my coat up. It's stuck there. Hey, oh, I can definitely smell burning. It's it's not. It's, no, it was whispering. It's not. <sighs> Last thing I said was with that K2 flash. What? That, the last thing I said. Was... Not that I know of, Julie. She said, is, um, is it known for witches? She says she's seen witches in a circle holding hands. Mm -hmm. Whether anybody comes and does their own rituals or anything here, I don't know, but I've not heard of any witches. 
wood burning. Do you know, Diane? Coal. Well done. Yeah. She said it smells like human flesh burning. Oh. I held my tongue really because I was going to say it's got a bit of a meaty smell because of our talk about burgers and things earlier. Oh, hi, Rich. We're still going. There you go, Peter. Rich is online. <laughs> now, you can't rule out, I mean, there's houses close to, you can't rule that out. Well, they're not that close. Not to be yeah, able but... to smell burgers or meaty smell. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine wood smell, <coughs> because that carry that sort of that carries a bit. I don't know. I... Do you know hair? Yeah, well, Diane said she said it's like hair. it's like human flesh. Well, human flesh, hair. Whatever it is, it's making my nostrils sting. Just gonna I tag. Don't get it. I'm going to take a photo over there. That, that, it's all that area there the, that I'm facing. There is, there's, there's I know, I know I something's the, just said sh goodbye. Uh, showing a lot, but the it, the fog is coming down now. Yeah, we're going to have to shift in a bit. Hang on, what's going off? Rem, not the other, not the rem pod, the other one. The spirit pod's just gone off. Did it? So he says her legs feel weak. I'm sure it did. Spirit, if you just it walk towards it. that. But only, only briefly. That little silver stick. That smells good. Can you do it again? It does actually. I'm just going to take a picture over there. Okay. But that, that smell is gone completely. Mm, not good enough. Okay, I think I think we'll close it from there because it's very cold. The fog's coming down <laughs> quite heavy. Okay. And we've got to go and... We've got to try and find our way back across very muddy fields. So uh, I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Um, bear with me, let me just read the last... Uh, yes, Teresa, we will, definitely. Lynn says she said it's horrible, but they've risen above it, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a couple of pictures before we leave. Um, but I'll say thank you ever so much, everybody, for your interaction. It's been really great. It's been very quiet, but it's... I think it's just a very peaceful, peaceful place, to be quite honest. Uh, we've got our uh, um, paid events, last one of the season. So all the way through winter, we will be freezing again and coming out and doing some lives as we can with the uh, with the weather. So if anybody wants to send us a hot water bottle, so Rob, say bye bye. Good evening, uh, and Sarah. Good night. Bye. Night. And uh, bye bye from me. So uh, we'll see you probably next weekend. Um, all being well. Or a cheeky 10 minutes tomorrow. Or maybe a cheeky 10 minutes tomorrow. So, to every, anybody who's coming tomorrow, have a safe journey and we'll see you there. So, good night from us. Bye bye for now. Good night. Good night.